Saturday, April 16th, was a beautiful day to watch the Randolph-Macon men's lacrosse team play Hamden Sydney on Nunnally Field. Students, parents, alumni, and lacrosse fans all came out to watch the nail-biting game as the Yellow Jackets pulled ahead and won with a final score of 14-13. This was a big game for Randolph-Macon for several reasons. The rivalry is strong between Sydney and Macon, and the team might have had a little extra motivation since the Jackets haven't beat the Tigers in 9 years, and they haven't beat them at home in 14 years. Senior Jack Averna talks about what it means not only to play the Tigers at home for the first time since 2018, but also to win after their loss last year. Uh, playing Sydney in general is very special. But they need to do our brand new field for the first time ever. It's really special. I mean, we're really excited for this kind of, for this kind of game. So. It's huge. I mean, it's, I mean, this has been working on the Chargers for a really long time. And it's great to see that in their first year. It's just coach Soli is not with us anymore. And uh, you know, for the seniors that lost last year and that lost the year, they didn't care. It's a big one for them. Senior night added extra incentive for nine veterans as it could have been their final time playing against their fierce rival. Senior Andrew Tiffey talks about what it means to have friends, family, and past team members join them for the important game. I can't really put in words, but I would say just the best because for all of our senior classes uh, coming for four years and our class of eight guys used to be about 16 or so, but those like 16 or so guys we're still in contact with and um, a lot of them are here today and it's even better to play for them and play for all each other. Yeah. The outcome of this game determined the future of the Jackets season. It would have been essentially over if they lost, but they would move ahead to fourth place and pass Sydney in the ODAC standings if they won. A lot of pressure was on both the coaches and players to be well prepared for this game. Senior Derek Marsilio and head coach J.B. Sheridan both talk about how they stayed consistent in their preparation. It, it wasn't all that different. You know, we, we stick to a plan and we have a system that keeps us successful and we've seen success throughout all of my seasons here. So it's a big uh, tip of the cap to the coaching staff that keeps our preparation and everything. And so, like, you know, just the, the, uh, the nerves were there today just because it was senior day in Sydney at home. But... We treated just like any other game, and we went out and executed what we got done. We played Wednesday in another pretty good game against Shenandoah, so it was, it was a quick turnaround. So it was a lot more mental than physical, as we actually, you know, only practiced for about an hour on Thursday, trying to keep it really light and more focused on our game plan and, and discussing matchups, um, but also trying to make sure that guys realize that while it's a great rivalry, you also don't want to overthink it too. And it's, it's hey, let's keep the game plan simple. If this is what we're going to do with certain matchups. The atmosphere in the crowd was electric, with many students and parents showing their unwavering support for the Jackets. <laughs> Playing at home gives any team a home crowd advantage, and this energy definitely carried over onto the field. Coach Sheridan talks about why more Randolph-Macon students should come out to lacrosse games. Those football Saturdays, those are pretty targeted weekends, um, but the weather seems pretty nice right now. I think the weather's a little nicer today than it is in November when everyone yeah. plays that game in football. So uh, when you want to wear shorts and enjoy a nice day outside, uh, you know, maybe that'll keep drawing some more crowds. Uh, you know, and, and it's been a great rivalry. It's been a, a great environment. Today, we're really fortunate to have that home crowd environment and that, you know, the support from everybody. So I would just say, you know, instead of bundling up in the cold, and, you know, I don't want anybody not going to that game, but I'd say it's a little bit nicer weather in, in, in April. The Yellow Jackets will be looking for another win on Wednesday at Virginia Wesleyan. So make sure to show them your support and remember, Roll Jackets, baby! <laughs>